Okay, we're on the Richmond gear site. Five to one, which is 12 teeth on the clutch and uh, 60 on the back. We just picked 30 miles an hour. That's the height of a, a factory stock tire. And it comes up with 4,673 RPM. Okay, now if you want to convert this to a 72 tooth, That brings you to 6 to 1. Okay. Hit the recalculate. And that's your RPM. 5590. So, if you had a bike with a the larger gear, which is a 72 tooth, and you were looking to cruise at 30 miles an hour, you had an 11 inch tall tire, it was 1 to 1 ratio, you would take 5590 RPM. That's what I based everything on because the 5 to 1 I think is too doggish out of the hole even though the two engines will help it the two three and a halves on there which are actually two three and three quarters uh, they've always been mislabeled that's where the lawsuits came from and that's only a 3600 so I know that they're, they're at least four horse or better uh, when you start to scream them up but with that said I went to the other chart and I started with this number here, 5590. Okay, I'll show you the chart in a second. The other chart's opposite. The other chart, I started with the 5590. I wrote my 30 miles an hour. I have a 15 inch tire, and it'll tell you your rear end ratio you're looking for. And I did that, and you know, actually, I'm going to change it before I show you. So it's 5590. Okay, so this chart's a little different. That's the RPM I'm looking for. That's the mile per hour tire diameter. I calculate it. I come up with an 8.32 ratio. Okay, which is bigger than what I have. I'm doing this through the little tiny viewfinder. I came up with... I think it was 5400. 804 and if you remember the ratio was a tad bit over 8 to 1 so at 5400 for 30 miles an hour with a 15 inch tire it takes an 8 to 1 ratio so this gear is actually a tad bit steeper than that very slight and that's what I was looking for from the beginning so I'd be between that and the fact that I have more horsepower it should have enough oomph to get me out of the hole and I should still be able to cruise at 30 miles an hour without really straining these things and that's what I was looking for so I'm not even going to cruise at 30 in reality so those are the calculations I was talking about so I chose what gear to put on the back I did order another 70 tooth for the back a new one so but this is where you go if you want to do any kind of rear end calculations um, you know, tire sizes, whatever for your car or anything. Like I said, you could switch your, you could type in your overdrive in this one. If you have an overdrive that's 0.75 to 1 or whatever it is, and do all your calculations. So, I find it interesting. It's easier than doing it on a piece of paper, I can tell you that. So, and we can play with it from here. Probably the easiest way to play with it, if I need a big jump is to change the uh, the driving gear on the jack shaft so that would be the one on the right to the sprocket because one tooth there is I don't know how many teeth on the big gear there's a big difference so but um, if you need to fine tune it you do the back gear but I don't think there's going to be any fine tuning when that racing we're just looking to drive and have some fun so, I just figured you guys would find this interesting. I think I showed it once before. And, um, I guess that's it. There you go. Let's see, Let's see what ratio we need for this. Yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> 
Actually, this is the one you want to change. You watch the RPMs change. There you go, 16,000. That's going to happen. Well, take care, guys. We're off to the recycle.